I just got back from the mine, and I've got all these diamonds here that'll hopefully pay for my armor stand order from Burn. I haven't received the stands yet, but I'm hoping they'll come in soon. In the meantime, I still need to make up the rest of the payment that I owe him. Let's see... Not too shabby. Seeing as how I don't know how much packed mud I might need, I've decided to plant my own wheat field instead of constantly stealing from Jay's heir. Even though he's been nice enough to tell me I can feel free. What in the world is physics? This has been sitting as a frame for a while now, so I think I want to start putting the walls in. I don't really plan on working on the exterior anytime soon, per se, but that could always change. I sort of just jump around doing whatever I feel like whenever I'm on anyway, so who cares? In retrospect, I should have seen this coming. That is significantly better, much cleaner looking and less... bird poopy. I'm still going to end up using diorite on the exterior for details like window frames and such, but that is a good base for the time being. I think it's about time I upgrade my gear again, now that I know I'm not going to lose it in the end because I'm never going back there. Oh. Oh. I guess my order's in. This is a funny way of delivery. One, two, three, four, five. I think I only ordered five, so that's probably good. Hmm. Well done, Burn. Thank you very much. Back to what I was doing. Which is smelting my... oh, apparently it's out of fuel, but is smelting my netherite. Let's see... throw those in there for the time being. I bet I can steal some fuel... oh, yep, from there. That should be just enough to get me my gear. Not the most efficient crafting I've ever done, but we made it here. So, boop, and boop. Very nice. And I think I'm even better off than I was earlier in the season. These can all go in this shulker box for now until I get to Slinky's order later. I keep putting it off, and I'm not really sure why. It's not a big job. It's not even very difficult. It's just... I don't even get that many jobs to begin with. Why am I complaining? I should just want to do it, right? Anyway... I've come to the regrettable realization that I just spent all of Burns' diamonds on netherite gear. So, back into the mine I go. Well, this is a little deja vu-ish. Me, grabbing my diamonds, stacking them up on the floor, mining them in front of you. Thirty-five. If that's not enough, clearly I'm being overcharged. And speaking of diamonds, let's see if we've got any new sales. Okay, no one's buying any tridents, but I've got another oceanic trident to add to the bunch, so maybe that'll sell. Oh, I've been restocking the shells as best I can. No one wants any string. Uh, no pickles and no kelp. Okay, that's fine. 
I have to do something now. You remember the leather? Well, this is the leather all over again. No one wants any string? I won't sell it. And then they'll be, they'll be, they'll come over here later and be like, hey, lost, where's the string? I'll be like, oh, I don't know. You didn't buy any when I was selling it. So there. Out of stock. I guess I gotta find something else to put there now, but for the time being, it's just gonna be the salmon head. I do want to show you the most marvelous machine we have on the server. The most convenient thing in the shopping district. The service I use the most often. El Guapo. Which is, <laughs> which is the super smelter built by Diggy Moose LLC. Let's see here. Right, so they got the timer indication lights that show you how long the cart is going to take based on how much you put in. I need all this glass for my mud farm. Gosh, my inventory is always full. So the diamond goes in here. And you put your stuff in the cart. And away we go. just like that, we've got plenty of glass bottles. I'm currently following a tutorial by Il Mango for his mud converter. This is so much better than the way I was doing it, which was manually and slow and... ...an uninterrupted. And now I've got all the mud I could use for my packed mud which will be used for the arches that I'm still making, and any future projects that will require it. I'll just go over here and combine it with the wheat I gathered earlier, and we should be back in business to continue this interior. I broke it. I broke it already. I, I think I know how to fix it, because I just followed the tutorial and everything. But I can't believe I already broke it. Well, that's what I, that's what I get for making it out of moss, I guess. Hmm. Fixed. That should work. That should function. Right? No, wait, that goes there. That one goes away. Okay. I'm just gonna trust it's good. So right now I'm just fiddling around with the curtains. I, I'm not really in love with where they are right now. You can see on the left is the original design. And on the right I'm trying something new. Hmm. I'm gonna try some wool blocks. Maybe the, maybe the bulk of them will make up whatever the banners are lacking. And... ruined. What if I brought the banners forward? I think that might actually help a lot. See, like that, they're sort of in front of the arch, but it sort of works. I think I just need a curtain rod or something to go there instead of the mushroom block. I've only got one fence. Let's see... Yeah, already, see, you don't see the block behind it. No, oh, I don't like those trapdoors, though. I can always put those against the wall. Like that. No, 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 no. Yeah, there we go. I think I finally found the solution I was looking for. Took a little while, but we got there. Yep, I like them. I just need to replace these trap doors. Or maybe how does it look without them? Hold on. No, see that blends in too much? Let's try brick. Nope. What? Where'd my pickaxe go? Uh, hello? I'm really confused right now. Where did my pickaxe just go? What? What? Is my pickaxe invisible? 
Oh, okay, yeah, that's normal. That makes... What? Sure. We'll go with that. I'm so confused I can't even swim. Any Anyway... Uh, the brick looks nice. Yeah. Alright, that one's situated as well, and I think that is a significant improvement. There is something I still don't like about this area, but I, I guess I'll figure that out later. For now though, let me show you the area I have fixed, which is finally that corner. So I put a wall in, and I decided to make a little walk-in freezer. Again, not really in the movie, but we're just using our imagination here. Because every bar needs some extra storage, so there is that. Unfortunately, that means I had to move my bed. And now let me show you this area, which is the boiler room, slash place where I keep my shulker boxes where people don't have to see them. And also I redecorated the mud converter, as you can see here. Doesn't have any mud in it right now. This is very, uh, it's a rough start. I'll see if I can flesh this out later, but for now at least I've got a place to access my shulkers. So, in the effort to kill two birds with one stone, I made a custom painting of a base that Slinky and I made last server. Hmm. It's a little too eye-catching, I think. His positioning is right, but... Eh, yeah, I think this is reading too much like a flat-screen TV and not enough like a painting. So, let's take this one down and replace it with... A non-shaders one, because that'll hopefully blend the colors in a bit better. Let's see here. Right... Gosh, where did I even put it before? Hold on. One, two, three, four, five. One, two... Yeah. Okay, see? That's immediately less eye-catching. It wouldn't take up all of the attention of the room, because it's not the brightest object. It wouldn't be the focal point. Now it is just a lovely decoration that is making up for a lot of blank space. Very nice. Let me show you what else I've been up to. I've been working on this wall, which was also blank before. Just some little bits and bobs. Nothing much. Right, we've got this side over here with the painting and the arches. The large arch where the pirates meet. Let's see, the storage system. I added these plants over here. Got some heads and a painting in the hallway. And now a little greeter desk. I'm waiting for the armor stand to stop glowing, but it's the same typewriter design I used over there. This is where they pick up their menus. So all in all, I think it's time to start extending. balcony is coming along pretty well. I think we just need some more lighting, like the tables below. Just for a little consistency. There they are, soul lanterns. You know, when I say we're not open, it's a figure of speech. We'll never actually let you in. However many of you there are. Please let. Hello? Right in the thorax. 
Yeah, not so high and mighty now. Why are there so many of you? Most of interior is just filling out blank spaces, so right now I'm dealing with this floor. Don't mind the Enderman, he's been here for a while. Just, I'm just trying to work around him. So let's see. If I could lead these to the stairs, maybe. Yeah, I like the look of that. Connect him to there. And then maybe make a diagonal. I'd like to add a trim along the outside, but I think the trap doors are going to prevent that. Yep, if I go here, then the chairs, the chair backs are going to make it so that I can't do that. So, I guess that's alright. This looks pretty good, though. Hmm, maybe I should extend it all the way to the wall, though. There is something I must do. I feel it in my bones. I hear it every time I place a block. It is calling to me. Bartender man. Bartender man. There you are, buddy. Ah! No, look, hey, look, I know we just met and all, but uh, this is a little bit hostile, don't you think? We haven't even talked about your pay yet, and uh, I was really thinking of paying you minimum wage. You cool with that? Hello? Bartender man? Bartender man? Hello? Look, this is very unprofessional, and you should know that if you damage a single part of that machine, it is coming straight out of your pay. Now get out of there, some somehow, if you can. Are you listening to me? After much humming and hawing over what I should do with this blank wall, I've decided maybe it'll connect into the next area. So, yeah. I am very pleased with how much progress we made today on the interior. I still need to extend this carpet out, but... I always forget which chest is the wool. <laughs> Let me just take care of that right now. And there we are. Oh yeah, I really like how that breaks the floor up. I'll tell you what I don't like, though, is still this area, this one wall where everything's just sort of clustered together. It's very inconvenient. I really don't like it. Ha, huh. if only there were a way. Ugh, I could just shift it over one block. Anyway, I have finished Slinky's armor stand job now. We've got these two little guys rowing a boat together. With their combined power, they can both move forward. Let's see, next up we've got this person. They're adjusting their sails. And we've got this guy, which is a hanger-on to this merchant ship. Right now they're still shifting some goods around to try and figure out how to balance the boat, or something, you know. Couldn't quite get the pose on this one that I wanted, because armor stands just don't bend the right way with the legs. So maybe I'll go back and do that again later. And then of course the first one I did over there, with the little boy with the telescope, and I'm missing one. Where'd the other guy go? You saw me do that one last week. This is what happens when you don't lock your stands, Slinky. Well, that one wasn't terribly important or difficult anyway. Slinky, you can do the rest. You, you can just uh, put them in the sitting position and shift them over. You know how to do that, right? You just, you just open up the book, you hit presets, and you hit sitting. You've done it before. I'm sure you've got this. You don't need me. So that is one order fulfilled. Very nice.
Well, that's time I'm never getting back. If someone weren't such a big baby about it, just have to not look him in the eye now. Now I know what his what his triggers are, and I, I can respect that as him his employer. So yes. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, as usual, and I will see you next time. Bye!